Oh, it's episode lucky number 13. And, uh, well, we do have some good luck. We get all of our bales loaded up. It's going to be a good time. We're going to make some money from all those straw bales that we accumulated the other day. And, uh, well, overall, it should just be a good time. You'll love to see it. This is episode 13 of Canadian Family Farms. Hi, everyone. Dirty Randy here. And we got another day. Another busy day. I guess I don't need to open up the people door. Just a garage door if it'll let me. Where's the button? Got it. We're good. All right. We're whipping out Peter. Um, Papa took back the Kenworth and uh, gave me a little bit of its scolding. He said, that's not, it's not a working truck. It's called Pipe Dream because it's a miracle if it ever works when you're actually doing work. That's why we got the Peterbilt and we also have the Mack truck. We're going to skim the bushes because we don't want to hit our corn. But uh, yeah, we got to get hooked up here. We got to get these bales out of the way and hopefully we can get some help today as well. And then we can get this field turn around in tip-tap shape. But uh, yeah, first off, we're going to be using that wheel loader we crashed our car into um, not so long ago. And getting things loaded up in here, we'll probably break out the old Massey there and uh, get her hooked up to the cultivator, uh, just the uh, the disc arrow there. And uh, then we can kind of continue on. Let's get these hoses hooked up. Thank you. Um... Yeah, you know what? You can just warm up for a hot minute. You'll be fine. Let's get this tractor going. Got her hooked up, unfolded, and uh, we're getting it roughly into position. And then, uh, yeah, hopefully we can get some help out here at some point with this. Because, yeah, we got to start with the bales. That way it's just done. And then, uh, hopefully, we can get to uh, some planting today as well and just turn this field right around. Because next month, of course, we got corn to deal with. So that's going to be a whole nother situation. All right, that looks like we're lined up pretty good. Uh, except for obviously being straight with the tractor. But that's that's another story. All right? And something like that. All right, they can figure it out from there. They'll be all right. I, I have faith. Oh, looks like the uh, sister-in-law is actually out here this morning. Uh, wasn't expecting that, but I guess my brother couldn't make it. Uh, who would have guessed? But all good, uh, and the race is kind of on at this point, you know. Uh, we got to get stuff loaded up before she makes her way uh, over to us. But thankfully, things are pretty organized, so we should have some time. Oh, yeah. All right, well, this should be interesting. Uh, definitely can hold the weight, but uh, yeah, no. And I mean, with this guy, we should be able to pick up all these bales, no problem. Stacked up three at a time. Should be interesting, but uh, hopefully we can get her done in a reasonable amount of time, you know. Um, and then see what kind of money we get for this. I'm not expecting a whole lot. It's not like they're uh, they're worth a terrible amount. But uh, you know what? Money's money, so I will take it. Get that squished onto there. Get those guys on there. Look at that. Wonderful. Nice little stack. Um, I was hoping we could line her up just something. Whoa, like that. Okay, I guess it's just going to take them. I wasn't expecting that. But I'm not going to complain about it either. I was expecting to do a lot more manual labor. And I didn't think this trailer was an auto load one. But equally... If it wants to, uh, if it wants to do that for me, I, I legitimately, I don't know. I, I didn't realize that, that this trailer did this, but that makes life a whole lot easier. We just got to get our bales over there. Huh, oh, get that hook in. Yes. Get the hook in on the top. That way they don't all tumble down. Thank you. Wonderful. This makes today so much easier. Um, well, there you go. Cool. I guess dad got tired of loading them up individually, you know. Got some newfangled tech up in here and was like, you know what? Auto load. Way she goes. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna get it done. We got a few more stacks left over here, some more on the other side of the field, and then uh, we will be good to gear.
Well, that obviously went pretty smoothly. A lot smoother than I kind of anticipated. I can't see the tractor. Where's the tractor? There's the tractor. Had me worried for a sec. Blind spots are wild. All right. Um, yeah, now loaded up nice and easily, thankfully. Um, and we can put this guy back away. Go get stuff done. And, you know, today's shaping up pretty good. Because I definitely thought that would have taken a lot longer. But, uh, you know, technology. Amazing. We got the straps down. And uh, we can set off. Um, I'm going to just swing wide into this grass field a little bit. My bad, sorry. Um, that's not even grass. Now I feel even worse. Should have just waited. My bad. All right. No one's coming that I can see. So uh, we're heading off. Just just a quick sale, too. It's uh, really just at the Animal Husbandry place here at the Animal Dealership. Um, so not not a far trip at all, but uh, definitely a full trailer. So that's nice, um, knowing that that field is a pretty decent yield just for straw bales, you know. A uh, perfect amount for the trailer. So that's wonderful. Fair bit of traffic this morning. All right, we should be good to head out. And uh, we just got to get her backed up into here not a big deal and hopefully one day soon we're gonna be using our fish stand again oh yeah back it up back it up do we just jackknife it in there I think we'll be fine look at that okay okay all right didn't quite straighten up as much as we would like but actually I don't even think we'll be able to fit this whole trailer in there um, to be honest with you, this is going to be interesting. Okay, well, some of them are going. We'll see how she goes. $1,896. Almost $11,000 from uh, all that. So that's pretty, pretty awesome, actually. Uh, you know, because that's just extra on top of our harvest, which, of course... We're not selling our grain, so uh, we're not actually going to be making any money off that field directly. Uh, but that is uh, is all good, um, you know. And it's <laughs> these fields surrounding us are looking so nice right now with all these different crops in the ground. It is pretty wonderful, um, and our field is coming along nicely as well, which makes that even better. Uh, I'm coming back into here with this trailer. We don't really need it. Um, hmm, but I guess it doesn't hurt to just park it over here. I don't know if it's super in the way we can always, uh, we can always deal with that. But I think if we just pull it up right there, it might not be the worst. Just, uh, we just hopped in the tractor here because there's a couple little miss spots, um, just where we're trying to be starting off and uh well we can't be doing that if it's not ready to go yet so i figured why not just give her a hand clearly she was struggling a little bit with those spots but that is not a problem um and once it's done i mean it's not like i'm gonna do much better i'm just kind of winging it out here but seems to be okay uh <laughs> all right and then I might just do the headland as well, uh, especially up on this side, because it is pretty tight with those trees over there. Kind of annoying. Um, so if I can just get that done, then that just gives them a lot more space to get her done. Try not to bang that water tower. All right, we're just we're struggling in the corners, understandably, but. We're getting her done, okay? We're getting her done. After this, we'll uh, probably bust out the other tractor, the other Massey Ferguson, uh, the newest one, the large one, big boy, and uh, get our big cedar out as well. I believe that's got fertilizer in it too, so that's even better, and uh, we can just get banging out on this field. Oh, is she st she's struggling. She's, she's struggling up the hill. I mean, it is pretty steep, to be fair. Oh yeah. Oh yeah.
Oh my god, this happened. And did they really just miss that spot again too? I don't know. What the heck? Anyways, I was going to say that should be pretty good um, if we want to keep going. And I noticed the grass is actually pretty, uh, pretty tall again as well. So we could probably maybe attack that if we get some time. All right, squeezing out of here. And I noticed we were missing a tractor back there. And it, I heard the mower start up as well. So I think somebody's on that, uh, which is pretty awesome. So, you know, if that is uh, something else that's getting done today, you'll love to see it. I don't know. That's where it's uh, it's kind of nice having a lot of people around, family, uh, you know, getting her done. So right about there is uh, probably okay. Maybe a little bit further. My bad. There we go. Waterfall. Um. Oh. Uh, Hmm. Let's see how this goes. I don't remember if that is parked in there correctly or what, but the hoses aren't going on. I don't know. Let's just get everything a little check over before we uh, just head out there. It's unfolding, so, you know, part of me thinks we might be okay. Um, you know, besides that one little mispatch, again, what the heck, um, we should be pretty good, you know? That's kind of why I hopped in there and wanted to uh, get that done but if uh, it's not done that just kind of impedes what we're doing you know what I mean but uh, let's see if this is actually working for us here it looks like we're doing okay uh, things are getting planted and that's really all you can ask for um, you know gosh I am tempted to just cut straight across and then kind of attack the headland as one area. Um, I know we have this little mispatch, which does super inconvenience us, but everything else is done on here for the most part, uh, so that is good. And with uh, dropping fertilizer on this guy um, as well, that definitely is kind of a nice, nice added benefit, you know, a uh, little bit less work required overall. Uh, less passes on the field, but uh, we do need to roll this field as well if we want to just really kind of maximize our yield. So that being said, you know, we could always just get that done next month um, and make sure it's all good there. But equally, I don't know, can you roll once uh, the crop is already growing? I feel like that maybe is not the best idea, um, but uh, we're going to have to just stop right there for a hot second to grab the cultivator and just get this little patch here done uh, then we can put it away and uh, perhaps you know if uh, sister-in-law's not doing anything else um, or if anyone else is free they could uh, potentially there we go uh, start rolling for us that would be nice as well um, so something to keep in mind is that one more little patch just right there. I think it might be. But I'm not going to concern myself with it. It kind of bothers me. But equally, it's such a tiny patch that it's not the end of the world. So, let's just get this guy put away. And then uh, we can, I don't know, maybe hook up another tractor uh, to get rolling at some point. Um, whenever we kind of give ourselves enough space for them to kind of keep going with that. And... Hopefully the mowing's getting done um, as well, so that would be nice. Seems like a good option as any. Why not? We got the front weight on there, which kind of helps because those rollers do be heavy. And uh, we are right there with it, so that is awesome. And yeah, the mower's out of there, so somebody must be doing some sort of mowing, um, which is, well, that's just always helpful. You know what I mean? boom boom and uh, well this should be good to go at some point there uh, but we will just leave this hanging out for now
brains have uh, joined us, and you know, I'm tr just trying to figure out what what the dealio is uh, because we ran out of like we still have some seed, but we ran out of the liquid stuff, and we have liquid and uh, solid fertilizer in what were the big tanker directly behind the tractor there, um, but we don't use any of it because we have the liquid system on the machine behind so i don't know who thought that was a great idea but uh you know we're definitely not utilizing our machinery properly uh because of that you know like we have so much extra fertilizer um and i want to say even seed but it's just it's not working get her done either way um but uh, yeah, the rains have certainly set in for us. It looks like the mowing is uh, all done. Good timing, because uh, it's not a not a closed cab tractor, so he would probably be getting soaking if he was still out there. Um, but hey, job is done. That's good. Uh, no point in tedding that, making hay, because it is all soaking wet right now. So that could be a job for tomorrow as well. Um, nice little side job. For somebody to get done because of course tomorrow is corn harvest and i cannot wait um that means we got both feed for both uh fish and our uh, chickens as well and you know over the winter we can shift our focus onto that so that's going to be super exciting um and of course we're getting even more chicken feed put down in this field right now uh that way we have plenty because you know once they start reproducing making more chickens uh, there can be a lot in that barn at times and we can be going through a lot of feed so the more we have the better um, and of course we can hopefully be turning that feed into eggs and we can be selling a lot of uh, our excess chickens that we're breeding as well so not all bad things but just uh, want to be prepared you know um, and if we can get just the crops in the ground you know uh that would be great today i'm not too concerned about getting it all rolled up as much as that would be great you know uh i'm not i'm not the one doing it right now so hey as long as my job gets done then uh you know i can't complain there but we'll see what happens we got a few more passes here uh, i don't know how i was so off on that one but it looks relatively straight so is what it is we'll get the rest of this in the ground and uh, we'll see where we're at well just sitting here waiting you know they're getting it done so i can't complain but they're gonna be out here forever at this pace like come on come on thank you all right, this is pretty much our last pass. I'm gonna be a little sloppy with it and hope I get the whole distance. I think I did, and uh, we're good. This is, yeah, our last one coming down. I can't guarantee the rolling is gonna get done, but uh, you know, hey, it's somewhat started at least, and it looks like we did pretty good with the uh, width for them there. You know, might've been just a little bit of overlap on that last one, but otherwise, you know, nailed it. So. <laughs> that's looking pretty good. I mean, the rain's coming down. Not a whole lot we can do about that. I suppose we could get some stuff put away and then uh, call her a day. But I think that looks to be all she wrote um, with this guy. So that's awesome. Can we get her folded up? That would be wonderful. And then, of course, getting this thing backed up into there is a whole task in itself. But you know what? I think... Um, we're going to break this guy down anyways and get it into just the repair bay over there and then uh, check some stuff out because something's up with uh, this fertilizer system and uh, it's half solid, half liquid and, uh, you know, the hoses aren't all working as they should. So, you know what, we'll get that figured out at some point, but it got the job done for today and, uh, you know what, we may as well go put away the mower at the very least. It is actually soaking wet, like, could have put a bag on the seat maybe, that would have been nice, 
Come on, man. Like, at least put the tractor away if you're, like, something. Come on. It's now it's soaking wet, and I got the shiveries. You don't, uh, don't want the shivers. So let's get this mower put away. I don't think we're going to have time to help anyone else out with uh, contracts or anything like that this time of year since we got our own harvest to deal with. And if we can just squeak this guy back in his home, we totally goofed that, but that's all right. We can't go too far out because of uh, the big tractor out here. But we can do this. Come on, Rans. I believe in you. Oh, 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 that I think that actually was in, but I just want to straighten it out just a touch more. Uh, that way we're good right there. All right. Wonderful. Wonderful. Let's go boom, boom, boom. And that's all unhooked. Let's go put this back in the barn so it's out of the rain. And uh, it's not getting soaked anymore. Here and uh, get this hooked up to the tether. That way it's at least ready to rock if and when uh, anyone can go out there and do that. So that is awesome. There we go. Job is uh, all done here for today, so that's gonna have to be it. Hopefully that field can get rolled and they can get out of there pretty soon. Um, but uh, hey, none of my business. They elected to do it, so that is that. So I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Uh, we're gonna go warm up by the fire. Lots more to come, and uh, hey, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. All right, bye bye.